I am one voice. I am one message. There's a limit to how many people I can serve on a weekly basis or even in my lifetime. And so it's okay if, I, if my message is the same as someone else's message because they've got people that they're going to reach and serve in their week and their month and their lifetime. The Lord's got multiples of us in multiple niches because he's trying to reach all the people. And so don't worry if somebody else is doing something similar to you. You are still unique in your experiences because he's got certain people for you to reach and certain people for them to reach. There is no need to fear that overlap or that you're doing something too, too much like somebody else. This also allows us to narrow down and say, because I know that God has provided Marcy to work with these people and Connie to work with these people and Linda to work with these people and me to work with these people, I can narrow down the offerings that I, I do and I can just focus on what I know I'm gifted at. I don't have to do it all for all the people. I can just focus on that. Like for a long time in our bit, that's why we had 20 some courses that we created. Because I knew how to do affiliate marketing and I knew how to do branding and I knew how to do content creation and I knew how to, like I knew how to do, I had to learn it all. I had to learn it all from scratch. And once I learned it, I could teach it. I'm a gifted teacher. That's what I was trained to do. That's what God gave me the gift to do, right? But when I was trying to be all things to all people, I was not attracting anyone specific. I wasn't building a reputation to do anything that would help me to grow my business. And so when I started, like, okay, what am I best at? I am best at helping other people grow their messages. And so when we narrowed that down and we said we are best at this and we let the other stuff kind of sit on the sidelines to focus on what we are best at, then I can let the branding expert teach the branding and I can let the affiliate marketing person teach the affiliate marketing and I can focus on my people who need to know how to grow their message and or build their curriculum, you see? And so as you're looking at your product pyramid as well, be thinking about what is the thing you want to be best known for? What is the thing you want to teach people, the thing you most enjoy doing or teaching or serving? What if we narrowed that down? It needs to be so super obvious to other people what you do that they know immediately when they hear someone who has a need for that, oh, you need to go to Arlene. She knows how to do that. So small and so specific. And some of you are like, oh, but maybe I'm in multi-level marketing and maybe we do like essential oils and that helps with all kinds of things. Well, is there something that you know how to teach about that product that is very specific to you and your experiences? Maybe you're going to attract the people who have a specific need for something that that product solves and someone else is going to solve, you know, like maybe you're functioning on digestive health. Somebody else gets to handle skin care right? That kind of thing. So figure out what you're good at in those kind of things. And this also helps our alignment with our product suite, be able to clarify what we do for whom and how to attract them into our system.